This is the story of Gerald McCloy and the strange thing that happened to that little boy. They say it all started when Gerald was two. That's the age kids start talking, at least most of them do. Well, when he started talking, you know what he said? He didn't talk words. He went, instead. What's that? cried his father, his face turning gray. That's a very odd thing for a young boy to say. And poor Gerald's father rushed to the phone and quick dialed the number of Dr. Malone. Come over fast, the poor father pled. Our boy can't speak words. He goes boing, boing instead. Said the doctor. It's just as you said. He doesn't speak words. He goes boing, 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 boing instead. I've no cure for this. I can't handle the case. And he packed up his pills and walked out of the place. <laughs> then months passed, and Gerald got louder and louder, till one day he went like a big keg of powder. It was then that his father said, this is enough. He'll drive us both mad with this terrible stuff. A boy of his age shouldn't sound like a fool. He's got to learn words. We must send him to school. From public school seven to Mrs. McCloy, your little son Gerald's a most hopeless boy. We cannot accept him, for we have a rule that pupils must not go in our school. Your boy will go all his life, I'm afraid. Sincerely yours, Fanny Schulz, teacher, first grade. But as little Gerald grew older, he found when a fella goes, no one wants him around. When a fella goes, he can't have any pals, and is frightened the gals. Yeah, yeah, they all shouted. Your name's not McCoy, you're Gerald McGoing Boing, the noise making boy. Aren't you Gerald McGoing Boing, the lad who makes squeaks? A boy, I have searched for you many long weeks. I can make you the most famous lad in the nation, for I own the radio station. I need a smart fellow to make all the sounds who can bark like a dog and bay like the hounds. Your gong is terrific. Your toot is inspired. We come to McGoing Boing, you're hired.
The Dalton gang stuck up the stagecoach at noon, and the varmints are holed up in fancy saloon. A sheriff can't get at him. Not even the law knows how to beat 23 men to the draw. Now hold on there, partner. One fella knows how. It's Silent Sam Steelheart, and here he comes now. <laughs> his parents, proud parents, are able to boast that their Gerald's <gasps> is known coast to coast. How Gerald is rich, he has friends, he's well fed. Because he doesn't speak words, he goes <coughs> instead. <laughs> 